You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar face to me from Massasoit Community College where I teach, Jeff Joseph. Welcome, Jeff. Thank you. Nice to see you. It's a pleasure to be here. You do good work over at the college. Uh, we don't all get to see each other all the time yeah. because sometimes we're teaching our classes, going to meetings, you know, big college gatherings. They don't do the big Christmas party anymore because you know, we don't have the Massasoit Conference Center anymore. Yeah. But there's, you guys have a breakfast for brothers. Yes. Let's talk about that. It's it's sure. the fourth Saturday of the month, yep. generally. Correct. Right. And what's the purpose of it? So the idea of this breakfast, it's really for us to um, build community. We make it part of our mission to really introduce students in particular to all of the different assets that you can find in their community. And part of the fun of it is actually helping them realize that a ton of the assets and even tied to the more specific career aspirations they have exist in their community. So that said, it's no pressure on anyone. What we do is we have an open invitation. Um, anyone can come, all ages. And I should share, we've actually extended it from just being Breakfast for Brothers to Breakfast for Brothers and Sisters. Oh, okay. So now it really opens it up to the full community. Um, as I mentioned, all ages are welcome. It becomes almost a clearinghouse for the different offerings and services and just the wellspring of knowledge and wisdom just for default, just by default of everybody having lived to be able to share in this place. Um, but what we do offer is a theme each month. Each month we have a theme that we were able to sort of curate alongside um, one of our faculty members, actually Dr. Rachel Daniel. Okay. She's been instrumental in supporting that. So that said... One of my favorites. Yeah. She's amazing. She is outgoing, and so can you give? Do you know the themes yet for January, February, March, like the first quarter of the year, or well, one those of them? we haven't released yet. But, okay. Um, I can tell you though, we're going to kick the year off talking yeah. about financial wellness in our communities. Okay, financial wellness. That's great. Now it makes sense that this is at Massasoit Community College. Yes. And you're on Broughton Community Access yes, sir. because it is all about community. We have a wealth of expertise in the community. I, yeah. I personally think you can learn something new every day. I totally agree. I learn from yeah. my students. I tell them I'm going to learn just as much from you as you're going to learn mm -hmm. from me in the class. Um, and what, what, what ignites your passion is what I want them to talk about in speech class. I figure I have a captive audience. They have to be there. Yeah. But I don't want to assign them a topic. I want them to talk from the heart. I want them to talk about what they want to yeah. talk about, especially their persuasive speech. That's their final grade. Oh, yeah. So they give me an informational speech, a uh, demonstration speech, and a, a, a persuasive speech. And then I do an icebreaker so they get to introduce themselves. So this is kind of, you don't have formal presentations at this. This is kind no. of a, like networking and people are talking with each other. Exactly. Not at each other. Exactly. So I, one of the, I guess, two things to mention. So first, we share that topic. That's what we call our food for thought, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I know the next breakfast, it'll be spirituality and ethics in our communities. The way it'll work is each table has that conversation. And we break it up into about four to eight tables, depending on how many attendees we have at the breakfast. The way it'll work is all at probably three quarters of the way in, we actually ask that each table reports out. So what we always challenge is for anyone who's not comfortable public speaking, anybody who wants to practice or has something additional they wish to share about whatever endeavor they have going on or something that they just want to really relate to the larger group, they take the floor and then they share a summary of the conversation, meets anything that really piques their interest that they feel they want the group to know. So I know, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. one of my friends who happens to be a city councilor, Massasoit graduate, Gene Bradley Duran yeah. Court, has been there. Oh yeah, he's a regular actually. He's a regular, yeah. okay. Um, probably other elected officials yeah. and community leaders from you know service organizations, yeah. things like that, fortunate. maybe Rotary and uh, you know, um, I keep saying I have to go. I end up covering some event on Saturday that yeah. ends up conflicting. Tell us the time. Yeah, so the time frame uh, is 10 to 12. Okay. And whenever we're, um, we have the access to the field house on Massasoit's campus, we actually open up the gym and allow for folks to continue their fellowship through physical activity or just hanging out um, for about an hour in addition to that. But the core breakfast program is 10 to 12 p.m. Student center? Yes, the student center, right okay. in the upper lounge. Yeah. So it's a nice open space. It's familiar to the community. 
it's, re it's easy to access. There's even a bus stop right in front of the student center for folks who are not familiar with campus. Right, and uh, um, I'm, we have a brand new president at Massasoit, yes. Dr. Gina Glickman. Yes, yes. Yeah. She already been to see you? She hasn't, been, she hasn't seen one yet, but she will be joining soon. I actually got a request from the president's office to get all the dates for this coming semester, so Good. excited about that. Because I know she's a big community person. She wants this yes. community to be part of the greater Massasoit community. Yeah. We have. We have a pretty big universe. We have 51 cities and towns that are in the Massasoit universe, yeah. unless we've added to that. I don't know. <laughs> I know we were down in Middleborough, yeah. we're over in Canton, and we're right here in Brockton, and our students come from all over the South Shore. Exactly. So um, what's your what's the attendance like? You get a good, good yeah, crowd? Yeah, the attendance, the average attendance is about 55. Um, it That's depends good. on the you know New England weather. It's we've been very fortunate that the weather hasn't deterred folks from coming to the table. We do feel like once you get to come to it, the breakfast and experience it, it actually becomes like kind of contagious. So you got regulars now because it's established, oh, yeah. and now adding the sisters to the yeah. mix. I know uh, you know a couple of the, the sororities that are very active in Brockton, mm. and I bet you you're going to get some of their members uh, yeah, being trying to, it. trying to continue the outreach to make it a little more well-known. So we are celebrating three years of having breakfast yeah. now, believe it or not. Um, so I'm excited to expand into the community. As you mentioned with our president, uh, Dr. Glickman has shared very clearly that she's adamant about connecting with the community. Mm -hmm. So through her efforts, um, I'm sure it's only going to open the doors even more to the community so they can come to the table and be a part of this. Well, I am happy to know that I did not realize it was three years. Yeah. Okay, so that's amazing. Um, anything you want to tell the viewers or specifically mm -hmm. more than what I've already asked you? I may not have asked you a question that you wanted to cover. I think just overall with the Breakfast for Brothers program, please give it a shot. Um, it's very, very casual. The dress code is casual. We encourage the entire family to come, so if you feel like you're a little tired and you can't stay for the whole thing, that's okay. It's flexible, so we want to make sure you can come through, so don't be shy, come through. But that said, the idea here is it's a really, it's an open door, um, and we make it a point to not stress folks to come every single month to make sure it's sustainable. We respect everyone's time. We want to make sure that you're able to come as you wish, but I think the breakfast sells itself. So if folks continue to come, and continue to enjoy this opportunity to continue to build community, was, and that's really what it's all about. Well, that's what we try to do here, and we're glad you do it. Thank you for Thank being you. on. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.